my brothers in Islam, this is a ni'mah. Wallahi, this is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A lot of people were alive during the last Ramadan. But Allah did not bless them. Allah did not give them opportunity again this month of Ramadan. If they would come back to just fast one day and stand up a qiyam, they would ransom every single thing that they had. But Allah had chosen us. Allah had given us another opportunity that we can take advantage of it. So it does not worth my brothers and sisters in Islam to fall back, to feel lazy, to say that I will come back the last 10 of Ramadan because these are the best days of Ramadan. There is a hadith of Ibn Majah. It was reported Ibn Majah and al Shaykh al-Albani had authenticated this hadith. Talha ibn Abidullah narrates this hadith. He says that there were two men at the time of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were friends. Both of them accepted Islam on the same day. One of them was doing more effort than the other one. Talha says that the one who was doing that effort died first. And the other one lived one year after his friend. And he died after that. Talha says that I have seen a dream. And we were all together. Me and the two friends in the gates of Jannah. And the, khad, the one who was safeguarding the Jannah came out and admitted first. The second one, the one who died, the second one in Jannah. And I forgot to mention that the first one died as a martyr, as a shaheed for the sake of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala was killed in one of the battles. The one who died normal death was not doing as much as the other one in their lives. He admitted the Jannah before the other one. And again, the second one was admitted to Jannah and was said, Talha, go back, it's not your time. And it was his dream. When he woke up, he told that to his companions. And the companions were very surprised because they knew the one who died the first, that one was doing little effort than the other one. Both of them were good. Both of them were companions of Prophet ﷺ. So they were surprised that how come that the one who was better and died as a shaheed did not enter the Jannah first. And they told the Prophet ﷺ that they are amazed. The Prophet ﷺ said, why are you amazed? They said that this one was better in their lives than the Prophet ﷺ said. Didn't the second one live one year after the first one? Then they said, Bala ya Rasulullah. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Wa adraka Ramadan. Didn't he reach Ramadan? They said, Bala ya Rasulullah. Wa swama wa qama Ramadan. He said, Didn't he stood up during the nights of Ramadan and fasted in the days of Ramadan? They said, Bala, of course, O Messenger of Allah. Then he said, Between them, ma baynahuma, ma bayna samai wal ard. Between them, like the heavens and the earth. There is a big difference between them because this one had gained Ramadan and he had done such a tremendous work during Ramadan and Allah had given him higher status than the other one. And this hadith is authenticated by al is an authentic hadith. This shows that the importance and the blessings of reaching Ramadan. If Allah had given you one year Ramadan, if you are alive this Ramadan, know that there are a lot of people who are not alive. Allah did not give them this opportunity. So it does not worth that we waste the opportunities that Allah had given and Allah loves these opportunities to take advantage of it. Uh, would be accepted during the month of Ramadan more than any other times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he said the ayat of Psalm, Kutiba alaykum suyam until the end. And he concluded with a beautiful ayah. And he said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ When my servant asks me about you, O Muhammad, when they ask you about me, O Muhammad, Allah did not say, فَقُلْ If you look the siyah of the Qur'an, the Qur'an is very beautiful. The wording, it means a lot. Allah did not just said it, place it. It meant a lot. In the other ayat, Allah says, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْمَحِيضِ قُلْ هُوَ Allah uses the word قُلْ Say, O Muhammad, they will ask you about the necessary cycles. Say, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْيَتَامَى قُلْ Allah says, say. But when Allah spoke about the dua, Allah did not say قُلْ Because Allah did not want it to put intermediate between him and his creation when they make dua to Allah. Allah says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I am close. Did not say, فَقُلْ يَا مُحَمَّدْ إِنِّي قَرِيبٌ He said, I am close and answer the dua when they make dua to me. So this shows that the closeness we go when we make dua to Allah in general 
and especially when we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during Ramadan, Allah says, Ujibu da'wat al-da'a. I will answer the dua, the caller when he calls to me. So this is among that we should take advantage of doing a lot of dua. All of us, we have needs, worldly needs. We can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the worldly needs. And we should ask Allah for the akhirah to say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab al-nam.